30 hours of screen time caused an increase in skin inflammation by 40%, which causes oh. the reduction of elasticity in the skin, which effectively means early aging of the skin. So let's start off by talking about what blue light is for those listeners who are like, what is he even talking about? <laughs> Tell us what it is. Yeah, sure. So blue light is a type of light that's um, around us. So if we take it back to our kind of science and college day levels, we've got everyone's familiar with ultraviolet light, right? We always protect ourselves from the sun. And if we look at the spectrum of light, that's on the left hand side. And that's let's say zero to 400 nanometers. That's why you have on sunglasses UV 400, but it blocks all the light up to 400 nanometers. From 400 to 800 nanometers, you have the visible spectrum of light. So that's all the colors we can see from blue, which is at 400 to red, which is at 800, and all the other colors in between of the rainbow. Outside of that, you've got X-ray and radio waves and microwaves that sit on the, out the other side of the spectrum. Now, with blue light, what's really interesting is it sits between both the UV and visible spectrum of light. So it's from 380 nanometers to 500 nanometers. It's emitted and it causes a harmful effect to our sand. Research has shown actually less of it is required to cause an effect on our sand. When you use something that's known as a spectrometer and you point that at, let's say, a TV screen or a computer monitor, the amount of light that's emitted more than any other colors is blue light. You know, it's 50% more than any of the other colors. And we already know that less of it's required to cause an impact on us. Um, so yeah, blue light is effectively a short wavelength of light that is emitted from the sun, from lighting around us, from screens. But cumulative exposure to it can harm us in multiple ways from the eyes to sleep to skin. Right. Okay. So let's dive a little bit deeper into that and really understand the impact it's having on our health. So let's start with Eye health. Yeah, totally. My, my favorite as an optometrist. Um, so yeah, when it comes to eye health, um, yeah, this cumulative exposure and, you know, we're so all guilty of this, especially us that are, I guess, deemed as office workers or now non, you know, in the hybrid world, anyone that uses a laptop or monitor, we spend up to eight to nine hours on that device itself. And then more when we're using screens for leisure, right? So, what happens is that cumulative exposure of blue light, you know, usually it's around two to three hours, but for a lot of people it can also be towards the end of the day. What happens is your visual system, it throughout the whole day, it's been, um, it's been trying to handle its kind of needs when taking that blue light in. So a good analogy is when you go to the gym, you're working a muscle out, right? You do, you do a set, you do 10 reps, but if you keep going at that same weight, eventually you almost collapse, right? Everyone has different different points that when that collapsed. Now, the same with our visual system. When we're working on screens, um, that blue light is creating a bigger load on our visual system. So when our eyes look at something close close up, they converge. And that's where your eyes look um, funny. So if you put your finger in front of your face and bring it towards your nose, you'll see your mm -hmm. eyes kind of go inwards. And that's the, right. that's the mechanism of convergence. Now, blue light, strains the muscle the visual system of the eye a lot quicker than if you didn't have it so the absence of it so what happens is after a few hours or towards the end of the day what you'll start suffering is with tired eyes strained eyes which then right. can even lead to headaches and migraines so from a from optics from an eye perspective that's how blue light affects us in the short term and then long term there's also research studies out there which are showing that blue light can contribute towards retinal changes in the back of the eye. So that affects your, you know, perception of what you can see. But that's more of a longer term burn, which happens over, you know, decades. Right. I mean, even though it's longer term, we just think about how many years we are spending behind the computer and how many hours in a day. Like, I'm guilty of it. Being an yeah. entrepreneur and having an online business, I'm behind the computer a lot. So it's really important that I have your glasses, I have the computer, like the shield, like that's all really essential for sure. Okay, so that's eye health. What else? What other areas? And sorry, because my headphone just keeps popping out of my ear. I'm going to have to hold it here. What else should we be concerned about? So the second element is sleep is probably more widely known um, because we have devices, right, that have this night shift function where you know, if you have an Apple iPhone, I know Androids have it now as well, but right. your screen turns an orange color because night shift turns on. Um, so the reason why that happens is blue light 
affects our sleep cycle because it suppresses a hormone known as melatonin. Now, what happens is when the sun sets generally, so in the evenings, let's say from 6 p.m. onwards, your body starts to produce melatonin. Now, melatonin is the hormone which tells your body, actually, you should be feeling sleepy now. And then when it's at a high enough concentration, you should be able to fall asleep. Um, but what, what's happening now is we are bringing the sun, which was our usual pacemaker, into the palm of our hands. Because before you could go indoors and, you know, you're not, you know, affected by the sun. But now you've got bright, big screens if you're Netflixing or sending emails. And you're telling the body, actually, you know, it's still sunlight out there. You know, it's still daytime. So, you know, melatonin doesn't need to be produced. So what you have is you still have levels of cortisol in the body. Melatonin isn't produced enough. And then when you eventually get to bed, you're tossing and turning because you're, you're, you're thinking, why can't I sleep? And then even when you do eventually get to sleep, the melatonin levels are so low that your body is not having a well-rested sleep. So those functions, the biological functions where you have muscle recovery, you have cognitive cognition uh, cleaning where, you know, the toxins within the brain are being removed. All these processes that happen when you sleep are not being done as best as possible because your body's still... Um, awake to an aspect, you know, your body's always awake, but it's even more awake when the melatonin isn't as a high concentration. So right. we know, you know, sleep is a pillar to our health and it affects in, us in so many ways. So if you struggle with that four nights of sleep, you might be okay the next day. You definitely won't be, you know, you definitely your mental mass probably won't be as good, but you know, your sports performance won't be as good. But after, if you keep doing that for days and days, you really have a big impact on how your performing as a as a human um so yeah that's for how sure. it affects sleep and then wider impacts of sleep for sure now did i read somewhere that it also blue light is also impacting our skin you are right yeah so interesting crazy um unilever did a study two years ago and it looked at um blue light emitted from digital devices and how it affects skin so they said um 30 hours of screen time caused an increase in skin inflammation by 40 percent which causes wow. the reduction of elasticity in the skin, which effectively means early aging of the skin. Um, so it, I never it, would have thought that. Yeah, it's really interesting because we, we all look at our phones and devices with clothes on, right? So it's our face that's going to get really impacted. And right. We, we care about the face, right? If we wanted any other part of the body, if any other part of the body was to age, we'd be fine with it. Yeah, it's okay. But when it's your face, you of really course. care. Um, but what happens is, yeah, we, you know, when we're sitting late night again or in the mornings, even, you know, we've got the phone, we're on our pillow, we're looking at emails or TikTok or whatever we're doing. And that intensity is increased and affecting the skin even more so, um, because you're so close up. So yeah, blue light also has a role in impacting the skin. Um, and that's a developing area where there's more research that's coming out. Um, but it's something that's been highlighted and um, something that we should we should think about. That is wild. I never thought of that. Like I would, I I get the connection with eye health and sleep and all of that. I just never would have thought the impact it has on skin. That's so wild. You just never know, do you? you just you know, it's one of those things you kind of carry on day to day, and it's something that For you sure. don't feel or see, right? Because aging itself is such a you know granular look process that yes you're never going to think about that so in terms of wearing blue blocking glasses is this something that you recommend people do all day long so yeah there's different types of blue light blocking glasses you can get um okay. and you know you've got those really ugly orange red ones <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, which if you wore them during the day in starbucks you'd probably get a lot of dirty looks like hey what's this guy what's this guy totally doing, right um yeah, it's 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 probably not ideal. Um, but yeah, so for example, the, the the blue light blocking glasses we create um, don't have that ugly orange kind of um, tint. So all, our mm -hmm. products are made for the day use mainly because what happens is, um, you know, it's a different type of blue light. If we break down blue light further, so three hundred and eighty to four fifty nanometers, the blue light that affects the eyes and the visual system and the skin, and then blue light from four fifty to 500 is that the blue light that affects the sleep so okay. you've got different types of products that can help at different levels and yeah i wouldn't recommend you don't necessarily need the big orange ones for the day they're more for the okay. sleep 
um, side of things. But um, you can wet, you can get products and limit exposure to blue light during the day to also benefit the visual system and not get those eye strains, fatigues, and headaches. 